even the top three is very dramatic. Like, uh, Nito double eliminates Charlie, and now uh, Nito gets the chance for like a run back. Wait. I did say 103, and it is actually because I, I mentioned it out for a different character for me. Um, but for a character like Wolf, uh, for Wolf it's 100 percent. At 100 percent, uh, I'm sure you will indefinitely kill Wolf. Kind of, kind of painfully ironic that it's 100 <laughs> percent. Hey man, sometimes things just hurt that way, and there's nothing you can do about them. But learn, learn the proper DI, but also learn the spacing and respecting your opponent's kill options, especially against Nito as well. So I had a lot of good adaptation against Nito too, understanding like, okay, I'll finish the low profile, the up tilt, and things like that. So, I'm digging the Terry choice, because I feel like Nito's like, all right, kind of, kind of find some new stuff out. Yeah. I mean, you have to eat, well, Master Mario has two games to work with, not Nito. We'll have to see how Nito is able to go ahead and put this up against Master Mario, especially with me and Terry. He's kind of brought it up a lot closer than it was the last time these two faced on the other side. He uses Crack Shoot, but the Flood is there in place. He definitely has Go Meter. Activated. Back to roll. Nice, trying to condition Master Mario with a couple power waves. Looking for a down air or a forward air, yep. The reason why he probably went for down air too, especially with the short hop one, is because he knew Master Mario might have been coming in with a fireball. But the one time he tries to empty hop here, Master Mario with a quick punish in the stocks here, bringing up a small deficit on 131. Yeah, a lot of uh, micro spacing and kind of just like managing the kind of like, it's like micro uh, conditioning that Master Mario's doing. I feel like both characters are kind of just like slowing down the match. And uh, I don't know. I don't really have much to say other than Mass is just uh, very like uh, very picking apart. Uh, Nito is very. Oh, the DI was one once again. You know, definitely struggled against that last game too. Nice, goes for power dunk. Mars Mara 192 here. And pretty much at this opportunity here. That was a miss but most definitely. Have to be careful how he lands. That's kind of one of the struggles that Terry does struggle to against as well. Is the his kill options is not the greatest too as well. Most of them come from combos, but the big problem was about a smash tax is that they have the cooldown and the startup. Oh, that was good. That was good. He wanted to make sure he was going to go in and plug. But I like the fact that Nito doesn't panic. He holds that last jump. Nice crack should have come back on the stage. Thank you for a back air. I like the power wave too. It would have been enough. The yeah. knockback in the air is still solid. And a uh, nice B-reverse too because it's like, it was uh, space as best as I, I could imagine it. And good to see that it's not going to be a 3 star. That's has been getting a lot of this. So. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be pretty tough too, even if it's not a 3 star. Hopefully we won't see a 3-0 from Master Mario. You know. But the forward yeah. smash train will be in Mass's hands here, Nito. Yeah, Nito just shaking his head like, yeah, yeah, that forward smash. That was cool. So, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even like ang angled up. Alright, both players getting a little bit of thought for the next stage. I gotta love uh, Max Mario's uh, little pro he's got going on too. Oh, <laughs> he's, like, he's, so him. he's made a comment about it how he's like wanting to get a haircut for a minute. And I, oh, really? I'm with Master Mario now, I need a haircut well, myself. You better win this tournament. 
We'll see, man. I mean, he's probably setting up a haircut right before Thanksgiving, man. Yeah. If I were him, but we'll see how things go here. He's really coming with the fireball, already putting in pressure against you know. Oh, center platform. That's a combo. And immediately to the other platform. Master Mario already with a lot of control forward there. He pretty much senses that Nido might be trying to go for a panic option and try to finish this man off. And I've not seen that many connections. How are they? At least uh, against Master. Yeah, that's kind of the, like last game with a big problem here is that, that he went over Master Mario and Master Mario had no hit so he just went hit and he wasn't really able to punish him. Nice. You don't understand. Blood will be in my face. I cannot panic. Master Mario already well evens out a deficit from the last game here. Three stocks with nothing set, nothing taken from Nito. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's so interesting that, like, uh, Mario and other characters can just do, like, a back air and then still throw out another back air because of two options. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely like uh, seeing Nito like uh, expanding his, his use of the moves that he has at his disposal as Terry. Because um, I've just been seeing a lot of uh, strange combos. Mm -hmm. Like that's like the, the tried and true right now for Terry, right? The, the jab into the... Uh, I think it's the name of the So, uh, sorry. So for a lot of Terry's options too as well, like he's able to use a lot of jab confirms into things like power down, crack shoot. Uh, it all depends too. He also has certain tilts and opportunities for him to also go for like things like power wave and certain presents. Definitely check out Izzah's Art of Smash on Terry. Out of Terry. Yeah, I love uh, Izzah Smash for putting out so many uh, how to videos. Oh no, uh, crack shoot. And unfortunately, the directional air dodge is not going to give you know, the opportunity to even come back on the stage. Uh, Rising Tackle is still pretty good. It's got some height, but not enough. Yeah. And those combos that uh, Master was escaping before, uh, you know, um, those jab combos, uh, now I see Nito landing them like, more technically. Yeah. I wonder if he's like, uh, kind of just forcing a type of like, a DI mix up. Because like, I think Master was really good at DIing away from that, like, that kind of thing. Wampus into the back air. Rising tackle. Power dunk, that's not enough here, but at this point, Master Mario off the stage. This could be the first game Noodle's able to get over. Yep, and the space on the fourth smash was enough to do it here. Master Mario just. Okay, he's still composed though, because he kind of knows that. Alright. The one thing though, sometimes, personally speaking, I can. It's, I can kind of tell from Master Mario at times, the one thing he really struggles is his ability to autopilot. Every now and then I do feel like he autopilots, and that's, I feel like that situation could have been playing a little bit better for Master Mario yeah. too. I feel like he kind of autopilot a little bit at the end. That's why he fell into that forward smash. Yeah. And it's funny too because I feel like a, a player like him, he's always on like some sort of like, like just genius level autopilot that like when it no longer serves him like the wind, it's like, oh shoot. I should probably like snap back into this. Yeah. That was really good of the Nido to like uh, find a spot to shield on, that, uh, on the you know, platform in the middle of that combo. You know, once you get hit by one Mario up there, probably at least one more. Yeah. Nido gets the forward smash. The parry. That's the Mario at 107. Uh, that's one way to use power jumping. Uh, so. Nice forward air. Puts me off the stage. I like he tries to meet him up with a down air. Nice. He waits for it too, especially good patience for Master Mario. Good amount of uh, lag on that one. Yeah, most definitely power. I said just have a little bit of lag, but it's a ability to cover a lot of the obstacles with the ledge to her. Almost second to none. Mario on those second stocks. 
Anna hates the blood and how it pushes you away so obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but also, it's really good too because a lot of players that we've been seeing today, too, Nido and Lumbrand, they have been really good to not make sure they don't panic against blood and then make sure they see their last jump or the last get up option. Yeah. Like, it seems like it would be so easy to just like uh, want to air dodge. Nice forward air, and he immediately compromises over the down air. You go at 141 here, this is Massa Mario stock, and he gets it with the last clip of the up E. And he just came in and swooped that one. I feel like Massa Mario panicked there, too. He went for a spot dodge. Pretty characteristic, too, because I understand, like, you don't want anything about hit by the last combo, and then your opponent's got pretty much Terry can have you at 40%. Down throw, nice. Going for the immediate combo. Tries to finish it off with forward air. I would have loved to have seen a couple more upgrades too, simply because forward, at this point, right, Nido's used to getting hit, seeing forward air. Yeah. And, and he's always going to be eye away. Yeah, no, I don't think he would have even set up like another kill after that. Like, he would just like spike him into the stage. Yeah. Forward throw, down air, and that's a really good DI mix up too. I mean, for Masamaro too, he has no reason to go for it. Oh, that tough trade, yeah. That was good for Mido. He didn't jump out of disadvantage. He did not roll. He simply tried to challenge his way back, since the Masamaro might be going aerial. Crack shoot was the option here, but unfortunately the trade was not going to be in his favor. You know. I saw a few uh, of his uh, neutral bees. Uh, what's the name of that? Yo, movie? shout out to this song. I'm so sorry. I, I metal apologize. Metal. This is from Metal Slug. Metal Slug. Yo, Metal Slug. I mean, we already have Terry, so. <laughs> we have our SNK representative already. Right, right, right. I'm already satisfied with the roster, but you know, at this point now, it's just like, you know, it's fun guessing. Yeah, especially for character 5 here. Now hopefully the these two are in it. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully these two are gonna be able to guess right on each other's mix-ups and combos here and see how they go. Because in Aranito, I'd be careful with a lot of Master Mario's change-ups. Yeah. And um Master Mario just like uh like you know other players like Denny, uh they just have a really tight uh interwoven offense and defense. Yeah. The name of the game is just like blocking their attack. And making sure that you Oh, that power. was good. So I see. Oh, I'm so sorry. Master Mario wanted to immediately punish Edo for going for power dunk immediately, but he kind of just didn't time it properly here. There's the back air. But also, it can be really difficult to, you know, punish power dunk times. Yeah. But still, Master Mario trying to set himself up in the back air he, right before even Edo can even finish the line. Terry did not have a chance to even ask Master Mario how he was healing. On his own stage, no less. Nice, Rice's tackle. He went for the charge option too. It wasn't enough, but still, it's pretty solid to cover that option with Master Mario. Do you think uh, Terry's a, a combo character or is more kind of like, like, like random neutral, kind of like, you know, uh, pick and go? <laughs> Most definitely a combo character. He's not very touch and go. There's a lot of uh, work to be done, or at least like I haven't seen like uh, a lot of combos arise from. Oh, oh, excuse you for challenging me off the stage. Oh man, that was good. Cool. I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't even tell Master Mario who missed it. did it on purpose. Yeah. The opportunity, right? I feel like he, yeah, yeah. in those situations, it's kind of cool when you have that like knowing like, oh, this guy's gonna kind of try to edge guard me. I got you right here. You can get me a little bit further out. No, I got you. Like, nice. Further out. He sees the cross up on Terry after doing the power dunk too. He was able to cross him up on the side, try to punish Terry right there and there. No, nice. Even after the forward air, he still has the opportunity. And he goes for it the second time because he sensed that Edo might be going for an out of um, out of stage option. Uh, do or die right now. If I were Master Mario, bringing it to the slow game is right, the right opportunity here. And I like the fact that he's doing a little fireball, but he's a problem is he's approaching a little bit too hard. Yeah, he's kind of like just a. Uh... He's thinking that uh, the fireball is going to be more than usual. Yeah, Master Mario's pushing a little too hard. I mentioned it earlier. He's got to bring it to the slow game. Back air. No. I... He's, just, 
Nito's using those cross the back at this point. Slow game once again, down air, and that'll be able to do it with that height. Not enough. Ceiling. Gonna watch out with Go Meter. And he oh senses the God. jump from Master Mario's aerial fireball. Yo. He has been going for that quite a few times. The camera wasn't even on. Like, the character, you see like an explosion. Just Yeah. That was a good call out though, because well, the one thing Nido is kind of accustomed to against Master Mario is those jumps from Get Up, the Get Up Jump Fireball pretty much. Yeah. And Master Mario feels so comfortable with it that he can actually be punished for it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to get at when I was saying like uh, micro conditioning. Like, you know, you, you see them kind of like fishing for stuff, but then there's like crucial little junctures where they do something and it elicits the perfect bait in response. Kind of, kind of yeah. Like, I don't even think he used that at all, that whole match, except for that kill. Mm -hmm. Couple up airs. One of the things about Mario as a character that really makes him such a big contender, in my opinion, most definitely top 10. <laughs> you can definitely yeah. DM me about it if you have yeah. disagreements, but that, honestly... That, okay, I'm sure, yeah. That's his head. <laughs> Most definitely, the thing about Mario is a lot of the stages he has in this game have platforms, too. So I, in, I'm a, from a meta perspective, you know Mario has literally only one bad stage and that will be found in nation. And even then, is it really that bad for him? Yeah. That's, that's one thing you have to kind of think about, too, as well. Mario having access to a lot of platforms in this game is really big. Master Mario, though, he misses the back here. Catches Nino on the lining with the up smash here. I feel like Master Mario most definitely woke up at the last game. Watch yourself on the landing here. Back here. Good parry. Rising tackle that's not going to be enough here. That's interesting. I've been seeing a lot of uh, rising tackle as like a combo finisher. Yeah, I guess it's pretty good for the it's good. Also, at the ledge too, because of the cause of those high jump recoveries. The fireball and Master Mario tries to finish him off there and then in there. He had a deficit too, but the big problem he was having against Nito was landing. Sometimes he's got to retreat from the ledge, and he's also got to watch out for those aerial fireballs. We saw how Nito kind of called it out, and with Go Meter slowly approaching at 93% already. And uh, I can kind of see like you know, Masters, you know, kind of like the snapping out of whatever. Uh, Autopilot that Nino is going through. But Nino is kind of like catching up a little quick, like a little too quickly for, yeah. for uh, Master's comfort. But also, it's important to see how Master Mario wants to get his follow ups, right? He wants to immediately land in with, with the fireball, but sometimes it's much better to retreat the stuff of the legend and reset yourself for stage positioning. Back air? Mm, nearly missed it. He's going to watch out on the landing here. He set himself on the ledge. Nice. Using directional air to take center stage and the center platform. That LP is not going to be enough, though, but this makes the deficit even bigger against Nido. Air throw. That's her back air. Oh, that was close. Even on the get up, too. Power master. I'd still watch myself here. He just has a lot of means of coming back, especially with the meter activate and the Buster Wolf. That was clutch. Back here. Good trade for Master. Oh, oh. Smash oh. missed it too. He's got to watch himself 59%. Damage on the shield. Can he get the grab? And he missed yep. gets, telegraphs it for the up smash. Oh. Master Mario. Finish it as off Nito with game five. That was like a, a chess match. 